It's too expensive today. Normand Boivin says high gas prices have convinced him it's time to switch up his vehicle. I'm actually going to a car dealership to see another car that's more economical. Because this, this is crazy. Gas prices have been rising in many parts of the country, in some areas hitting record highs. If it keeps going up this way, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll buy a, an electric car or something. <laughs> I just the filling up less. Like, I'll like stop and get $50 worth of gas instead of like filling my truck. I'm riding my bike more. I got an e-bike and uh, I, I ride that more often now. Most of the cab drivers are not making money right now. And, uh, a lot of them quit, uh, except if, you, if, if it's your own car, you have to keep driving. Analysts say there are several factors at play, including recent tensions between Russia and Ukraine. Oil is very sensitive to geopolitical risk, especially when it has to do with Russia, because Russia is one of the biggest producers in the world. Other pressures analysts point to include carbon taxes and a tight supply, with demand now back up after a huge drop when the pandemic first started. As demand has rebounded, vaccinations have allowed the economy to broadly reopen but oil production has been lagging behind. He says the average price in Canada now is near $1.50 per litre, and in some places, higher. Canadian gas prices continue to advance, setting new uh, all-time highs almost every week. CAA says it's getting 30% more calls than a year ago from people who have run out of gas on the road. There are more people out and about this January, but those increased calls tell us a few things. People are taking greater risks uh, and letting their tanks uh, get very close to the minimum. To save gas, CAA says regular vehicle maintenance, good tire pressure and driving at lower speeds will all help. Tips that could come in handy if prices stay high or keep rising. Alison Northcott, CBC News, Montreal.